Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the executive office. This is my office. It is the most expensive one at $4 million, but with all the upgrades, it came up to be $6.1 million. Uh, as you can see, there's the stacks of paper, and I'm going to go ahead and let the secretary talk here. It's going to be huge. Why would an operation like this be involved if it wasn't going to be huge? That's the level we operate at. There's the boss. So long. Oh, hi. That, that's right. I am the boss, and it is going to be huge, just like she said. <laughs> but uh, like I was saying, guys, this is the most expensive executive office. I will be talking about how also you can get the stuff on the ground, like the uh, that crate with the champagne and uh, the drugs there on the other side of the uh, sofa there. It looks like it's uh, packs of cocaine or whatever. And also over here, I got some uh, ecstasy either ecstasy or viagra i don't know what it is <laughs> but um i mean like i said this executive office is four million dollars with all the other upgrades it came up to be 6.1 million dollars uh here's one of the upgrades that i put it's a gun locker as you can see it's pretty badass and um you can pretty much uh you know showcase whatever guns you want there on the other side on the right side I just like it because like you can barely even tell that there's anything you know in in that in the in the wall and I mean this is the most sexiest thing I've ever seen I have ever ever seen I mean come on guys check that out stacks of paper <laughs> so much money holy crap dude that is way better than Pacific Standard but um okay so let's let's get back to I mean those those are the easiest I guess decorations you can say. Uh, I am very happy with this DLC. I think the executive offices are bomb. They are very, very cool. But let's talk about those little things that you can add to the executive office that you cannot buy. And those are the ones, uh, for example, like I mentioned, uh, here's more uh, jewelry, I guess. Uh, that That's an extra little thing that you can add to the executive office. But along with the drugs, along with the alcohol, that champagne on the ground, the tobacco, uh, I don't know if you also saw, but I had a uh, some antiques and art uh, by the window um, over there by the desk. Um, basically, it's very simple. All you have to do, there, I mean, there you go. There's the art. I don't think you, you saw it there. But all you have to do is, uh, in order for you to add these things to the executive suite, um, all you have to do is, um, well, you have to get the crates inside your warehouse. This is my warehouse. Uh, not only do you have to get the crates, though, you like, for example, if you buy three crates, um from your executive office and you are successful in completing all three crates like for example I have all the three crates for the jewelry I have all the three crates for the art and antiques also for the uh, uh, counterfeit and for the drugs and for the I think I already mentioned the silver bullion uh, but yeah you have to get all three crates so those uh, items will start to appear in your executive office um, at least that's that's how I you know think it is because it just happens that I have all the uh, basically all the things for that for those three crates so for example like I said um, I don't have all the three crates for the gemstones as you can see I only have one gem, uh, gemstone crate there uh, so that I have been looking around my executive office I did not find it so with that conclusion uh, you know I can you know if I'm wrong just please tell me in the comment section but I do believe that if you complete all the three crates and you bring them back safely to the warehouse that item should show up in your executive office. Like I said, I have the three counterfeits. Uh, it showed that you know the counterfeit money they end up showing up on my executive office. The three crates for the jewelry also, and the three crates for the tobacco and alcohol, which is the champagne bottles. Those showed up, and the silver bullion showed up, and the arts also showed up. So, you know, like I said, with that logic, I think that is the only way you can add, you know, more little cool little thanks to the executive office um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was very helpful uh, if you guys did like it please subscribe and drop a like if you haven't already and I would love for you guys to you know become part of our family and also um, you know I did I, I, I was talking about a video that I did 11 months ago where I basically laid out a lot of the stuff that this DLC has um, so I think it's kind of cool that Rockstar picked up a bunch of those ideas uh, I will be putting up the link here right now uh, go ahead and click that guys and let me know what you think but it's pretty much everything that I talked about in there um, Rockstar ended up adding to the DLC which is really cool uh, and yeah I will leave you with that and peace
hope to see you guys next time. Bye.